All right. It's been a long season up to this point. Everybody's been in a different type of world. You all have been one of the few schools and a few teams that have been able to not so much overcome, but adjust on the fly. Coach, how has the conference gone, not just the season, but how has the conference gone so far this year? I thought it's been going uh, really well for us. Obviously, getting started at the beginning of the year uh, with uh, Mike Weathers, um, yeah, obviously getting injured, then missing one of our next games, and then when we finally get him back, we wind up um, going on a nice little uh, three-game stretch there uh, in conference play, and uh, we're feeling good about ourselves. And unfortunately, today uh, we were without him uh, because he was a little under the weather. And for our team to be able to come together like that after dropping those two games, really without his services for the most part, and playing a tough team uh, like we played tonight in Rio Grande, and for our guys to go wide to wide with those guys and get a tip there at the end to win it, I think these guys are growing and getting better at the right time. Um, I guess my next question is, is it an AD or is it a coach's uh, situation where you all can, if somebody stays on the phone all the time to win? Can you drop off to be able to find another game so you won't have a week or two weeks off? Yeah, it was really the coaches. I mean, we were very fortunate to get this game. It was tough. A lot of teams really don't want to come here and play uh, because we've got a really excellent uh, home record. Uh, but our coaching staff and uh, I've got guys, matter of fact, one of the guys that uh, would help one of the guys on the staff here at Rio Grande used to be one of my assistants when we were at uh, North Texas. And uh, so because of the relationship, he knew we had lost the game, they lost the game. So uh, we talked and the head coach was willing to bring his team in here and play tonight. But we've got to return the game to them next year. All right, now, let's talk about the ninth game. It was up and down, it went all the way to the wire. Do you want a whole lot of games like that or do you just want games like that in certain situations? Well, it's great to have a game like that because it shows our guys that we can play in certain situations. Uh, without uh, Mike Weathers tonight, we have just had to put the ball in some different guys' hands. They stepped up, had good games for, uh, for us tonight, and uh, made plays. So you really need games like that so you can continue to grow uh, as a team. And uh, so we know now we get in those situations. We've got guys that are capable of making plays to get us out. And lastly, you see it's coming down to the world. Well, conference play is coming down to the world. Uh, it's about positioning now the rest of the way for the conference and then qualify for the NCAA. We just want to be playing well at the right time. And I uh, think we're trying to peak at the right time and making plays and, and doing an excellent job now. We just got to continue to grow and we're hopefully, uh, we're playing our best basketball in February and March and we're hopefully we're heading that direction. All right, coach, is there anything else you can think of about tonight's game, tonight's contributors? No, I just thought we had a lot of contributors tonight. Uh, we just weren't depending on one or two people. I thought a lot of people contributed in the game tonight, stepped up and played big. All right, coach, reintroduce yourself. Where are you are? Johnny Jones, head men's basketball coach here at Texas Southern University. It's a dearly, Willie. Go Tigers. The College Sports Report. Coach, thank you for your time.